Hare Krishna everyone, welcome back to Shravanam Diaries podcast. I'm your host Sulalita Devidasi and we are continuing to read Teachings of Lord Chaitanya by His Divine Grace, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is chapter 16, Conversations with Prakashananda. Jai Prabhupada. Jai. So, continuing. It was during this time that both Tapan Mishra and Chandra Shekhara were feeling very sorry about the strong criticism against Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they came together and prayed for the Lord to meet the Mayavadi Sannyasis. We have been mortified by hearing unfavorable criticisms from the Mayavadi Sannyasis against you. They informed Lord Chaitanya. Indeed, it has become intolerable for us. They requested the Lord to do something so that these criticisms would be stopped. While they were discussing this subject, a Brahmana came to Lord Chaitanya and invited him to his home. All the sannyasis, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had been invited, and now the Brahmana came to invite him. Knowing that the Lord did not mix with Mayavadi sannyasis, the Brahmana fell down at Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's feet and implored him. Although I know that you do not accept invitations, I still implore you to come and take prasadam at my home with the special with the other sannyasis. If you accept this invitation, I will consider it special favor. The Lord took this opportunity and accepted the Brahmana's invitation in order to meet the Mayavadi sannyasis. Actually, this was an arrangement made by the Lord Himself. Although the Brahmana who invited him knew that the Lord did not accept any invitations, he was still very eager to invite him. The next day Lord Chaitanya went to the house of the Brahmana and saw that all the sannyasi Mayavadi sannyasis were sitting there. He offered his respects to all the sannyasis as was customary and then went to wash his feet. After washing, he sat down at that spot a little distance from the other sannyasis. While he was sitting there, the sannyasis saw a glaring effulgence emanating from his body. Attracted by this glaring effulgence, all the Mayavadi sannyasis stood up and showed him their respects. Among them was a sannyasi named Prakashananda Saraswati. He was the chief among the impersonalist sannyasis and he addressed Lord Chaitanya with great humility, asking him to come and sit among them. My dear sir, why are you sitting in that filthy place? He asked. Please come and sit with us. Oh, I belong to an inferior sect of sannyasis, Lord Chaitanya replied. Therefore, I think that I should not sit with you. Let me remain down here. Prakashananda was surprised to hear such a thing from such a learned man, and he took the Lord's hand and requested him to please come and sit with him and the other sannyasis. When Lord Chaitanya was finally seated among them, Prakashananda Saraswati said, I think your name is Shri Krishna Chaitanya. 
and because you have taken sannyasa from Keshava Bharati, who belongs to the Shankaracharya Sampradaya, I understand that you belong to our Mayavadi sect. According to the Shankara sect, there are 10 different names for sannyasis. Out of them, three names, Tirtha, Ashrama and Sarasvati, are given to the sannyasis considered to be the most enlightened and cultured. Since Lord Chaitanya was a Vaishnava, he was naturally humble and meek and he wanted to give the better sitting place to Prakashananda, who belonged to the Saraswati Sampradaya. According to Shankara's principles, a brahmachari of the Bharati school is called Chaitanya. However, although Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyasa, he kept his brahmachari name and did not take up the title of Bharati. Well, sir, Prakashananda Saraswati continued, you belong to our Shankara sect and you are living in Benares. So why don't you mix with us? What is the reason? Another thing, you are a sannyasi and are supposed to engage simply in the study of the Vedanta. But we see that instead, you are always engaged in chanting and dancing and playing musical instruments. What is the reason? These are the activities of emotional and sentimental people. But you are a qualified sannyasi. Why not engage in the study of the Vedanta? By your effulgence, it appears to us that you are just like the Supreme Narayana, the personality of Godhead, but by your behavior, you appear to be otherwise. So, we are inquisitive to know why you act in this way. My dear sir, Lord Chaitanya replied, my spiritual master considered me a great fool. Therefore, he has more or less punished me by saying that because I am such a fool, I have no capacity to study the Vedanta. So he kindly gave me the chanting of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. My spiritual master told me, just go on chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. It will make you all perfect. Actually, Lord Chaitanya was neither foolish nor ignorant of the principles of the Vedanta. His pers purpose, his purpose was to demonstrate to modern society that fools who have no history of penance and austerity should not try to study the Vedanta just for some recreational purpose. In his Shikshashtaka, Lord Chaitanya said that one should be in a humble state of mind, should think himself lower than the grass on the street, should be more tolerant than a tree, and should be devoid of all sense of prestige, and ready, ready to offer all kinds of respects to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the Vedanta, philosophy or the holy name of the Lord, of God, constantly. The Lord also wanted to teach that a serious student of transcendental science should exactly follow the words of his spiritual master. 
According to the calculations of his spiritual master, Lord Chaitanya appeared to be a fool. Therefore, he said that he should not indulge in the study of the Vedanta, but should continue chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. Lord Chaitanya strictly obeyed this order. In other words, Lord Chaitanya impressed on the Mayavadis that the words of a bona fide spiritual master must be strictly followed. One who does so becomes perfect in all respects. On such a perfect note, we shall conclude today's short episode. Thank you so much for tuning in today. The link to this book is in the description. Please check out our website shravanamdiaries.com. We shall continue tomorrow. Hare Krishna.